Hey guys, it's Adam at Fluffy Feather Farm, and today we're gonna talk about our chicken coop. So let me give you a little tour. Come on inside. Okay, so we are inside the front part of our chicken coop, which is really our customer facing area right now, and where our two little boys clean and wash and prep all of our eggs for sale. So you see behind me, we have a sink area here where they clean eggs that need to be cleaned. We have all of our nesting boxes here. These are all called roll away nesting boxes, which means when you open them up, the chickens lay the eggs on the other side of the wall and all the eggs roll this way to make it easy for them to be collected. Over here, we have our area where all of our eggs are for sale. So we have refrigerators for eggs that are washed. So our washed eggs have to be refrigerated because we remove a protective coating on them when we wash them. Now, the only reason we really wash eggs is if they are really, really dirty. So when we have eggs that are too dirty to sell as unwashed, we wash them and package them. Up here, we have all of our unwashed eggs. So this is all of our eggs that come out unwashed. And generally speaking, our eggs are uh, mostly clean when they come out unwashed. So you see these really haven't been touched and they come out pretty good looking, even if we don't wash them off. Now, the only other thing in this area is we have, you know, all of our supplies to package and label all of our eggs so we can put the dates on them, stickers, things like that. Makes it easier for the boys to come out here and get everything done during the day. So we do heat and air condition this area. The air conditioning is mostly for us and customers. So when it gets really, really hot in the summertime, um, we have air conditioning. The heat is because we have water that runs to our chicken area. So up above, you can see we have um, a heater up there. And then we have an area that recirculates the heat from this section of the chicken coop into the actual coop. So our front section is heated. And then when the heat drops below freezing inside of the coop, this fan here kicks on and pushes the hot air into the chickens area so that their water doesn't freeze. Now, the other cool thing about the front part of the chicken house here is that we have an area where we can fill all of their food. So right here behind this door is our food hopper. So you can see inside of there, we have a large area to store all of the food for our chickens. That food hopper can hold about 400 pounds of food, which is about eight large bags of chicken feed lasting us anywhere from a week to a week and a half. Okay, now, so we've just walked through the door that separates the front part of the chicken coop from the back half of the chicken coop. Right under here, you can see where that food hopper was. This is the inside of that hopper. And down below here, you can see where the actual food area is for the chickens. So they can stick their little beaks in there. You can see there's a couple over here eating right now. All the food drops down into those holes and we have nearly zero food waste for our chickens when we feed this way. Okay, right here you can see the back side of our rolled away nesting boxes. So inside here, here's our chickens. They're sitting here laying right now, as you can see. So chickens like to lay in an area that is dark. So we have purposely put in a lot of lights, if you can see, in our chicken coop. And where our nesting boxes here are the only place that is actually dark where they wanna lay eggs. So rarely do we find eggs around. So, so rarely do we find eggs around. Most of the time I would say 70 to 80% of our eggs are laid inside of these nesting boxes. So now as we move further inside of our chicken coop, our nesting boxes and our food is back there. And now we move into the area where we have all of our perches and our water. So behind me, we have a lot of perches set up because uh, chickens generally, when they're sleeping at night, want to perch up higher. They don't really like sleeping on the ground. They'll do it if it's their only option. Behind me here, you'll see we have a automated water system hooked up for them. So right now, this tank fills up automatically on a float valve, and then that water comes down this tube into those cups, and the cups uh, fill up with water as the chickens drink out of them. So here's a little closer view of the water cups. So you can see as the water empties out of them, they tip up, and then the water fills, and then as they tip back down, it makes the water not go into them anymore. 
So under the water cups here, you can see we have a drain and that's really just to make sure if there's any spillage or anything leaks that it keeps the chicken coop as dry as possible. We wanna keep the chicken coop really dry because that is the healthiest for the chickens. They don't like to be wet. If we can keep it as dry as possible in our chicken coop, that is really always our goal. So during the summertime, uh, these fans are both turned on. These are just exhaust fans. They keep the air moving through the chicken coop. Again, to keep it dry, to keep the air moving so that it doesn't get stagnant or stale in here. Now, the other thing we have access to for our chickens right here is we have two uh, gravity-fed containers. One has uh, grit in it and one has oyster shells in it. The grit helps them digest the food in their crops. The oyster shells actually help with shell development with an added source of calcium so that we have shells that are thick enough uh, so that they're not brittle when you're breaking them. So the last really important feature of our chicken coop is obviously we want um, our chickens to be safe. So our chicken coop has a solid concrete floor. Predators can't get in. We don't leave the door open ever. Their only access in and out of the chicken coop is this automatic door which is by Run Chicken. Uh, you can get a number of different brands. This one seems to be working well for us. It's battery operated, but you can manually shut it. You push a button here and the door closes and you push the button again, the door opens up and it's a dusk to dawn feature. So the sun comes up in the morning, the door opens up, the sun goes down at night and the door closes. And the chickens are pretty good about getting in. If they don't get in, we have lots and lots of pine trees around in our chicken area. So our chickens tend to roost up high at night. But I would say 95% of the time, all of our chickens get in every night. And because we have this automated feature and because we have this automatic door, uh, we don't have to come out here every night and get them to go inside. They really have learned how to just use it automatically. So thanks for taking a tour of our chicken coop today. If you're thinking about getting chickens, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help you out. I can tell you that a lot of people over the past six months or so have decided that they're gonna try chickens or they wanna look into chickens with the cost of eggs going up and that kind of thing. I can tell you that our chicken coop and the maintenance of our chicken well outweighs the price we were paying for eggs. So if you're thinking to do it to save money on eggs, probably not a great idea. But if you're looking to get into a hobby that's really cool, you wanna have something for your kids to do, you wanna have something for your family to do, having a chicken coop really is awesome. The key that we have found to having chickens that's really important is how do we automate the things that we're doing? So you saw inside, we have automatic nesting boxes, we have automatic food system, we have automatic water, we of automatic doors. And really that is the key to the simplicity that we've established with our chicken coop. And we really, really enjoy it. So reach out to us, subscribe below, follow us on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. And if you have any questions, you can always reach us at info at fluffyfeatherfarm.com. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, good luck with your chickens.